Well, how do there, chums? Does I, Captain Stephen, today, chums, are going to be pressing on with the distant world tours, the Grand Tour 2023. If you didn't see the first episode, you don't really have to, but if you want to, I'll put a link to it up there. Okay, yeah, so go and hit that one up. So let's jump on over to my old reaction cam, and we'll be over in the world tours. So there you go, this is the website for the world tour, distant world tours. And uh, we've already done Waypoint 1, so we're going to be moving on to Waypoint 2. Okay, so let's click this one. Let's have a look what we've got up here. Quite a nice little banner there. That's going to become my thumbnail. I guess it is. And let's uh, scroll on down the tad. And uh, yeah, we're going to be going here. People inside of the view of us. Uh, I believe this one is done by Randy. Let's have a quick look. See? Yeah, Randy. Uh, Randy D, 1967, glitch builder, I've been playing No Man's Sky since day one, over 6k hours in the game, over various saves, you can find a few of my builds on my YouTube channel, it's got YouTube, and there's a YouTube link there, should we go hit that up, should I give him a quick subscribe occasion, if I haven't already people inside the viewerverse, oh, this site cannot be reached, eh, well maybe it no longer does, YouTubes. Well, that don't work. That does not work. Oh, well, we would have hit it up. But anyhow, let's just carry on then, people inside of the view of us. And uh, we go over to uh, this code here that you can see on the screen. Right oh, no. So I'd better get into game, better night, people. We better get into game. We better be keying in this old code. Okay, so here I am. Over inside of the game. Universe. Right, so let's head on out to my portal. This way. Uh, where is my portal? I can see it over there. I think that's it anyway. Hopefully that's it. And we've got deck off. Nope, it's not it. That's not the portal. Oh fudge. Okay. Um right. It's over this way, but it looks like someone's built a base. Right frickin' by my portal. <laughs> and it's thrown me off like massively. Okay, um where is my blinking portal? Okay, I don't think that base was there before, but it, it looks like a portal, doesn't it? On a bit of a weird angle. And um, yeah, I've lost my portal now, people. I've lost my portal thanks to a, a base popping up. Oh, there we go. There it is over there. It's all the way over there. All right, fine. Well, this is a cup of tea with Captain Steve episode. It's not going swimmingly well right now, is it, peeps? But I'm heading all the way back over this way. I'm hopefully going to get to that portal eventually. Sweet. Oh, fudge sake, people in the view of us. I get there, don't you worry. All right, come on. Fly like the friggin' wind. Fly like the wind. Yeah, so what I would say is going from this, I mean, this is a community build event, but it's like planets that people have invested in themselves. As there's, sometimes it can be inside their own little mini hubs and things. So I don't think there's an invitation for people to build bases there. So just leave it as is. Go visit. Don't put down cons balls. Don't build bases or any of that sort of shenanigans. Um, I mean, the event is over, so I don't really know what the rules are, but just to be on the safe side, just to be sort of like, you know, yeah. Yeah, anyhow, here we go, let's key this one in. So here we go, we've got ourselves an eclipse, an eclipse, a Sunday set, a chikaboom, a TP, or huikwam, and a whale, a whale, boom, that's in. And now the next four, Sunday set, a double boatyman boat face, chikaboom, chikaboom, and a TP, or huikwam, chikapow. Last four, boatyman boat face, a bird, or a pigeon, pigeon, and another boatyman boat face. The last one, people. A TP. Ho, quick one. Chkapow! Dundly and done. Right, well, that's all activated, coated, and we're going to be jumping inside of there, people, inside of the view of ours, aren't we? Here it goes. And. Chkapow! I'm the min. Chkapow! Right, yeah, so what I was saying was just more like out of courtesy, you know? I don't know what the rules are. I've been looking around on the website. I can't see much where it comes to people that want to come and visit and what the rules actually are around sort of these systems. So just to be sure, just just visit. Just visit. And don't build. Don't add to it. Don't do any of that sort of shenanigans would be my suggestion, just, just to keep everything in check. Hey yes, right oh, so let's uh, get back on over into game. Chicka pow pow, chicka boom boom. And I should be arriving okay, in any second now. Normally the yeah, the joypad already vibrated, but I haven't arrived. There we are. Odd man. Yeah, and it was discovered by QC Larry21. Now there are a couple of common balls here already. Let's see what they say. Split open and melt. What? Okay. Um this is what space smells like. Right. And um, before L, sorry if you don't. What the, what the, 
Okay, I have no idea what's going on there. Oh, there's a comic book right here. Welcome to Isla Nubla. Isla Nubla. Um, okay. Well, fair enough. Well, there's, there's one base here, apparently, people. So we're going to have a look at that base. Now, let's take one off. Let's have a look for said base. Taking on off to the sky. And there we go. That must be the base over there. Okay, cool. Hmm, okay, right, well, let's uh, take one up. And let's head on down to this planet over here, where we should have a base. Where's the base marker gone? Where, I, I, there was a base marker a second ago. Oh, there it is. That's just me being an Egypt. Okay, and lock on, and away we go. So, scrolling down on the old website, I'm having a look what this one is. Planet One Oddman, and it's called a Dinotopia Hub. Is that the one that I'm heading to? I think there is only one. This is why, really, you should just leave the one base there, because if there's a whole bevy of bases, we're not going to know what we're here to see on the Grand Tour. Oh, wow! Look at this! This is pretty darn freaking epic, isn't it? Well, let's touch on down here, then. This must be the planet with the dinosaurs on it. It's called this Dinotopia. That's what I would imagine, anyway, people. I guess. Oh, for fudge's sake, my doorbell's going. One second, people. Hi, people. Well, well, I just ran up and down the stairs, so, yeah, obviously got to get my breath back, because that's what you do in your 40s. I'm just going to put it back over to me for a second. I'm have a little sip of tea. Probably jubbly. Well, at least we arrived located at the base and everything. So let's uh, jump back into game. Let's have a little butchers around in your camera mode, shall we, people? Okay, right. Oh, well, yeah. Nice planet, nice planet. Let's go into camera mode then. Let's have a quick look. See, boom, and zoom on up. Oh look, there's another ship just about to land over there. A little, is that a fighter? It is a fighter. It's got like little side rails as well. That's quite a nice configuration. Oh look, there's a diplo. There's a diplo over in yonder as well. Cool. We we'll go look at the diplos in a bit. Let's have a look at the base first. That's what we're here to see. I like the fact that they've actually used diplos here. Ah, and also on the mezzanine that I'm about to walk across. What's this centerpiece? That's pretty darn sweet. Nicely done. Very cool. I like that. We'll have a better look at that in a moment. And then there's some sort of like showroom over here. And I like these little sort of parapet type things, if that's what you call them. Minarets. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what the correct term is for those, but very cool. Ah, very nice. Looks kind of Game of Thrones, doesn't it? With neon lights. Ga ne <laughs> neon lights Game of Thrones. Freaking sweet. Okay, well let's um let's have a better look around in person, shall we, people? So we go across this bridge that's flanked by Diplo statues. Very nice. Let's have a better look at this centerpiece because it's got movement in the center. That's pretty darn cool. Heck yes, you don't see the movement in the old camera mode when you're on single player. I wish that we had cinematic camera mode. I really do. So things like that still animate. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? Maybe just a button press inside the camera mode to make it cinematic. Right, okay. Well, I like this centerpiece. I mean, I don't think you can go inside of it. It is just for aesthetic reasons. But look at the use of the fireplaces there. Very cool. Very nice. Very awesome. And I'm loving all this sort of work in the flooring as well. It doesn't really add to it, doesn't it? Very cool. Let's head into here. And imagine it's sort of symmetrical and we've got the same thing going on at the other side. But just to double check, just to see if my theory is corrected yes there we go it's a nice symmetrical symmetry base so you only need to really see half to see all of it very nice oh i like this diplo here I'm loving the uses of the glitches in the background as well they've got subtle movement to them as well very nice cool use of foliage as well very cool almost looks like diplos those plants don't they right oh like these bushes uh, with the uh, the uh, under corals or whatever Let's head into this main gap up here then. Sweet! Home sweet home! Yeah, glitch trophies, use of fireplaces. Got a nice fish tank that managed to put freaking jellyfish in. As you can see, I've got jellyfish in my background as well. Very cool, very cool. Yeah, I could call this place home. I guess I could. This is lovely. Right, well, let's head on down these stairs. Let's see what's down here. We've got a load of carbon racks. Nice. Um, a few more carbon racks. What's this way? Oh, I like that wall. That's, oh, fudge, it's not a wall, it's a door with a hidden teleporter in. That was freaking epic. I love that. That's really clever. It's close. It almost looks like artwork. It looks like a bad game of Tetris, doesn't it? 
Then you go over to it and boom, no, it's a doorway. Very nice. Okay, I like the uh, the use of the skull head there. Very cool, very cool. Oh, wow. Yeah, really sweet, really sweet base. It's got some little hidden goodies underneath the stairs, some frost crystal. Why the fudge not? And then down here, what have we got over here? We've got like a little retreat down the back here by the looks of things. Very lovely. Let's head into here then. Got some refiners. So this is very functional when it comes to a base as well. It's got everything you need as a traveller, hasn't it? Very nice. I like it. I like it a lot. And it's even got a nautilus there. Well, Diplos can't swim. Are they Diplos over there? No. <laughs> they look like Diplos. They're not Diplos. Okay, I wonder where that Diplo was. There's one right there. Let's go and say hello. Boom. Hello, Diplodo. So they're not quite as majestic as the E3 Diplos, but you know, when you see a Diplo out in the wilds like this, there's a treat for the eyeballs. At least this one is having a little bit of a, a wade into water like the old E3 Diplos used to, you know. Well, there we go. That's a... Get a nice little photo of him, shall we? Chicka boom! There we go. I'll take a photo. I'll stick that on the old Twitter verse. There we go. I'll stick that on Twitters. Chicka pow! And yes, on to Twitters. Post, please. Thank you very much. Yeah, I just went on Twitters. Coolio! Right, well, there you go, people. What an awesome area of space this is. And what a cool little notch on the old waypoints for the Grand Tour. Well, let's head on back on over to my ship and I'll create a quick save, I think, people. Here we go, let's jump in my ship and out of my ship. Chicka pow pow, chicka boom boom, dandily and done. Right, well, let's get back over to the reactions mini cam. And yeah, so Randy made this base. You know what, Randy? I think you've got a splendiferous base there, my friend. Well done, you. And um, awesome to get it featured in Waypoint 2. It's made Waypoint 2 a very interesting place. And look, there's all different pictures of Diplos here. But it looks like there may even be beetle creatures that frequent this planet that I didn't see. So that's the Distant World Tours logo down there. Pretty darn freaking epic. Oh, look at that one. It's got like a parity beak. And that's pretty cool too. I think that's the kind I just saw, that Diplo there. So it looks like there's other varieties of Diplo to be found upon this planet, people. Isn't it wonderful? It really is. So there you go, and that's the actual base itself. I've had a great time here. Yeah, jump along. Have a little look-see yourself. Now, I will be putting the link to the Grand Tours inside of my video description. So inside of the website, when you first get here, all I've been doing is clicking Tour Details. and jumps over to Tour Details, and that's giving me the waypoints to go to. We will be going to Waypoint 3 next time, people. This has got one base on it as well, so I'm not going to click on it this episode. But tomorrow's episode, I'm going to be clicking it up. We're going to be hitting it up. We're going to be gallivanting around it, people inside the viewer verse. Heck yes, we are. Let's just go back to the Distant World Tours website and scroll down a little bit further. And um, yeah, maybe there might be some rules and regulations on here. But yeah, have a little read through, do your own sort of research, find out what's going on. And uh, yeah, yeah, hit it up. See what you feel about this whole thing. Yeah, and you can even participate as well. So I think they're going to be doing other events fairly soon. 2023 tour schedule. So I think there might be one actually about to run. May May 4th and May 5th. Oh, May the 4th. That's all Star Wars based tours. Oh, fudging heck. And it looks like the next one's going to start July the 1st to August the 5th. So I guess if you want to get involved in all this sort of stuff, it's a case of just hitting up the old Discord and getting involved over there. Yeah, visitors on Discord. Do it. Do it. If, you, if this is your sort of thing, if you want to be on the world tour, and, you know, in between when there's updates and when there's not updates, when there's not much going on, I'm going to be hitting up these tours and adding to this playlist. So there we go, people. It's given me something to do. So if you're looking for something to do inside the No Man's Sky verse, and like me, you've done pretty much everything else that's out there to do, this is kind of like a player-driven sort of expedition in a roundabout way. But you know what? With all these points of interest, it's freaking good. It's good fun. It's a great idea, and I'm fully behind it. Anyway, let's uh, jump back over to me. Drinking my tea! Thank you, that's a lovely job there. Yummy! Yeah, people keep asking me, what is the brand of tea that you drink, Captain of the Steves? I like Tetley tea. Tetley tea is my favourite brand, but I've also got Yorkshire tea and PG tips, um, and I just sort of cycle through them. I have had Redbush tea and even the Tesco's own breed of tea. Tesco's own breed of tea, not bad. Tetley's, though, kind of mops the floor a bit in my 
my opinion, but I'm not really a tea connoisseur. I've been drinking it all my life, and my life's been quite long. So, am I a tea connoisseur? I might be. Anyway, people, I'll see you for the next episode. Cheerio bye for now. Goodbye, goodbye. And goodbye again.